So you're wanting to know some of the behind the scenes, some of the things during. You're wanting yeah. to know different things other than our military mission in action nonprofit that we help. How many times have you been to events done at your that you've actually seen anybody care about the outcomes? There's not very many. Just curious. So mm -hmm. you take somebody like Christy Lynn. You guys were there when Poppy got hit. Mm -hmm. Did you see what the outpost did? Do you know Christy Lynn did not even know my name? She just knew me as her purple crazy hair. Okay, she knew Poppy. But she came to me with clean access cigarettes and a monster. So what did I do? I made sure we had a tip jar. So we all went over there with our little handful of tips. But not only did we do that, we also gave them event shirts. And those girls were like kind of surprised, you know, that we did that. We had a young lady there, but her name is Lola. She's amazing. And she comes up with her little handful of money, they said, to buy tickets. Because we had a kid's raffle. We actually had two kid's raffles. And so at first, the way they were explained, she thought maybe she was too old for this. And they explained to her on that. And then she lost some of her tickets. So it really bothered her every time the number was not called. But to make a long, long story short is, her family was not financially able to get a $250 RC. And this is something she's been wanting. And guess what? She won. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay, so then we have a gentleman there that one of the clubs just did a ride for his wife. His wife's been diagnosed with cancer. So the pallet guy of a Tiki Talk, you know, here he goes and he donates us this flag. Well, this guy comes to our event just so we could get it. Okay, he, he did one. But then he turns around and he, he, he looks, it was either lifted lose or military missions in action. I don't know which one it was, but he hands them $100. Not only did they give it to him so he could have it, but he turns around and he puts that $100 right back in our box. Okay, you had Tim Miller out there, a soldier's child. He wanted to raffle one of his off. His went for 300 He wanted us, me and Mike, to take the money. We did It went. 50, uh, well, no, it was 100. 100 went over to military missions and actions jar the other, and then the rest went into the box. We didn't keep it. Then I have to bring Pepe up from the zoo crew because that's my Cuban. That's my Cuban. Cuban and I'm going to tell you, this event has been hard and it's been stressful because you always have the ones. And when I was really at my wit's end, I didn't know that he was kind of at a point in his life that he was just kind of bummed to. And then he started doing these decals on my Jeep that they actually, that Brandy made into a tumbler for me. And his creative going. And he's choppy, 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 now he's gone. We had a lady that, God love that lady, she took her last little bit of money and bought 100 cups, they were 50 cents a piece to make to get to our veterans. And that was about all the money she had. She was trying to make money so she could pay her bills and so she could go up north to see her son and get married. She won a wench. She don't need a wench. So I stood on that wench and I was screaming, you know, hey, she needs this money. We raised $400 for her on that wench. So as I've explained to everybody that this was huge for me to do this, but what nobody understands is how huge it was to get this venue. We all know Chris Cagle. And Chris Cagle is kind of intimidating because he don't smile a lot. He is professional in business. Well, when I asked to get this venue, the deal was Bo Rosa had to be there because Bo knows, you know, the land. Bo knows this, Bo knows that. So after the event, I go to get a chicken leg. <laughs> I'm going to chow down on my chicken leg. Sure. Oh, Lord, y'all, I'm telling you right now, you talk about skirt. You know how like when you're in second grade and you're popping chewing gum in class? Go to the principal's office and you're sitting there like <laughs> Well that's the way I felt because Christy Lynn says I didn't know the big man was sitting there and he was sitting there and he was holding her shirt up. Yeah. But you know what? He knows I beat myself up because if I don't beat myself up, I won't get better. I won't do more. And he actually sat there and he was impressed. And I told him, and this is what a lot of people don't know, it's Scott Fields, Sarah and Mike, 
they started all that for us. And so that was the motivation behind this. As I took what Scott was going for, that when Scott passed that everybody dropped the ball on, I said, I picked it up, but I put a twist on it. I gave us a cause. Because if you're gonna come out there, we need you to make it good. We don't need just to come out there and throw some money around and make everybody rich and famous. We need you to do it for a reason. And so, you know, when you talk about wanting to contribute, wanting to help, then it comes in, what's the one thing y'all didn't see out there? You didn't see no big names. You didn't see no big companies. You know why? Because everybody on that field was one of us. So my thing is, it's like, oh, I don't have my bag with me. But it's like Savage Roasters. That's a military-owned business. So my thing is now, as long as you buy one bag between now and this event, you come back to the event with that empty bag, God only knows what I'm going to have. But I'm going to have something because there are so many people that want to give back to our veterans. Did y'all see how I literally threw $5,000 worth of gifts out? These people stood in the heat and the rain. So it's not about the money. It is not. We raise money for our nonprofit. It's $50 for a care package. So if we did at least 100 care packages, we did our job. So we have to give back to each other. We have to show each other we're together. So make sure you buy from your local businesses. When you're out there and you're willing and everything like that, don't throw your damn zip ties down out there in the, out in the parking lot and stuff. Because you know what? Christy and them girls, they're the ones that are out there at 11, 12 o'clock picking that stuff up. When you are throwing this crap down, you're disrespecting them. Chris Cagle gave us that business, and it's a one-stop shop. Stop and think about others. Buy local, buy from your local business. If you don't know who my vendors were, go on my business page. Help a Bet Shine has a business page. Everybody's there. If you can't like buy a bunch, but scroll through it. We got Christmas coming up. Okay, there's Sarah. Okay, there's Jack. You can get something for everybody. Go and check these out, but don't forget our sponsors. It's like Spectro. Spectro gave those cans of shine to us. They made sure we had swag bags. You got Jags. I mean, we did have big names as sponsors, but we also had the little guys. You had the 3D print docs. You had the mask from uh, Simple, uh, was it Simplicity Seller? Yes. And then you have like Whiskey Throttles. I mean, there was a lot of different names. And then if you'll look on the back of our shirt, yes. If you'll notice right down here, this is something that means a lot too. Core graphics, screen printing, and embroidery. These guys, which y'all don't know, I was scared we weren't going to have enough shirts. Two weeks before the event, and he was told, hey, Dad might not have enough shirts. Is there any way we can do anything? So when I tell y'all that, and I'm sorry, I get choked up on this. When I told, tell y'all people, stepped up. That man did only, he only charged us $500. He donated all of the screens. And he was worried he was not going to get them in time to the point that he was willing to deliver. So it's little things like that, you know, and I mean, you got Rock Rock on here. You've got FMC, you got Zoo Crew, but you've got like Christian Jeep Club, Anderson's RC, you got Stein Jaeger, Trolley Pop, Dank Tours, My Medic. I mean, there is so many, and this didn't even touch all of them. We had over 100 companies that donated, either Etsy, Big Wigs, or whatever. So always think about your companies, but always, always make a bit shine. Tell them thank you. Give them a hug. Tell them you love them. That's the biggest thing is respect your veterans. If, if people want to get involved, either donation, you know, sponsor, volunteer. Hey, I need y'all to get off y'all's butt and get involved. We're taking on 100 children for yes. Christmas. Military missions in action sponsors okay. 800 soldiers' children a year. So what we're doing, we said, okay, okay. I'm challenging all of my people. I'm getting a list of 100 children. I'm yep. trying to pull my vendors, my clubs all together. You do three to five gifts. So I'm trying to get everybody to take a name or two names off of my list when she gives it to me. Okay. And so that way we can help them even more. But I mean, yep. when it comes to helping, the biggest thing to help anybody is shake hands, give hugs, buy local business. That's the best way to help.
So, you know, it was a lot of the little things that, you know, was just, it was miraculous because we helped so many people. Our event was not just military missions in action. It was the whole community like I wanted. And that is what it's about. If you come out next year, you know, we're gonna keep our raffle tickets cheap. We're gonna keep our vendor's box cheap because you know what? You may be able to afford a hundred bucks. This person may not be able to afford even five bucks. So we're gonna keep everything cheap because it's not just our nonprofit. It's about everybody else out there. It's about giving back. And I will say it until I'm blue in the face, shop at your small businesses like Rock Rock tells us to shake that veteran's hand, always say thank you, and make sure you hug somebody beside of you each day. And if you can't hug somebody, at least text and say, hey, I love you, have a good day. Because that's what's going to make America great. Trump's not going to make America great. Biden's not. Nobody is except us. We don't come together and we don't start holding hands and quit worrying about color, sex, race, all of that. And we don't start appreciating our veterans and helping them, we're never going to be nowhere. We're going to be just a chaotic 